right there. That's Zahiro been a problem for some teams aching so far. quite a bit of damage to do so, but getting over the bump and taking half damage is a much better situation. Then getting stuck there. And you also, you do heal up when you're in the actual reload zone, so you'll get most of that health back. But the hero hasn't made it there yet, as slowly inching forward, and Nagoya is coming to push in now on the standard and hero. First shots from Queens hitting really, really low. If they aim up there, there and they go. kill the standard on the Queen side. And they're dealing damage to the Sentry also. Kind of a sneaky strat there. Nagoya is sending their uh, standard to the um, Sentry while the hero is uh, dueling over here. Hero combat going well. Standard's going back to purchase more projectiles. Hero overpowers. Uh, an issue for beginner heroes, you know, if you don't have the power limiting set up, that chassis takes a lot of energy to move such a heavy robot. Nagoya able to take the Sentry of Queens down to half health in that initial confrontation. Four minutes left to go, that's a pretty big objective lead. Absolutely. Queens can still bring it back, of course. You've got four minutes, you know, you bring it up. But as I said this, Nagoya is taking even more shots on that Sentry, doing even more damage to it. Also now hitting this, uh, the hero over there. The hero, though, firing back. You can see the projectiles. Yeah, but overpowers itself in that engagement. Wasn't able to back off fast enough to get into the reload zone to heal back up. And the sentry is looking like it might go down here at 90 health, 80. Do we have enough shots to take it out? Mega no, hero we're from out of shots. Taking that center buff point as well. Going back to purchase more shots. Oh, and there goes a ball into the caster area. I love the way the hero is inching into its reload zone, trying to stay, keep yeah. itself alive, but, you know, getting shot by the other uh, Nagoya hero here. Queens is not able to keep up right here. Well, as previously noted in some other matches, uh, if you're dying to power draw, yeah. it's really risky to keep on driving around. Yeah. You can see the level of that hero, still level one, not getting that passive XP because it spent so much of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Out. All right, with two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock, the Sentry is now gone down for Queens University, meaning that uh, Nagoya has a startling lead and start attacking that base directly. We'll yeah. see if they go for it. I think if you're the hero for Queens, I think you stay in the resupply zone. I would agree. Oh, and the hero of Nagoya going in, doing so much damage out of nowhere in the back of the base. Queens does not realize yet. Now they finally do. They're attacking back. Nagoya's uh -oh. hero uh -oh. overturns itself. Queens has two minutes. They've got a lot of ground they need to make up. Um, honestly, Nagoya could finish if they still had projectiles left from that sideways hero. Uh, but... Uh, uh, oh no, is just the head of the hero sideways? I think just the head of the hero sideways. Has the Kappa been detated? Oh my gosh, not a decapitation in our last match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. This has gotten a lot more interesting out of nowhere. All right, Queens, can they bring back round one? Their, their odds in round two just went through the roof. Mm -hmm. So they've got a chance here. Yep, definitely a decapitation. Oh no, what happened? Nagoya trying to cement the victory of round one, though. If they're going to lose round two, they want to make sure they get some points on the map for this group stage round, and, and they, they will are finish able off to take out the base. Queen yes. Knights. Man, I wonder what happened to that head. I guess they hit the wall at a wrong angle or something. I, they were aiming at a base. I can't imagine yeah. how, how anything impacts your gimbal. Uh, that was that was wild. That was an insane... I see a, I see a gaggle of, of UW people and some queens... Can one of you that was really close to the corner come over and tell me what popped the head off? Because it was fire. Initialization almost done. Four, three, two, one. Queen's University with the opportunity of a lifetime. Do they let it slip through their fingers or do they capture the moment? All right. It looks like that hero is not moving. Also, is Queen's University Standard not connected to the server? I don't see it on the UI. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Queen said, standard. you're going to fight us with only one robot? I guess we'll go mano y mano. Oh, no. And In all seriousness, that is tragic. That Queen's is so University tragic. had such an opportunity here, and uh, they have yeah. accidentally given it away. Mm -hmm. A hero versus a standard, not the best matchup you can have in a 3v3. Definitively quite awful, actually, especially when your uh, hero keeps overpowering itself, trying to move into the base mm -hmm. and into the resupply zone. And here we go. This is going to kill them again, and... Yeah, what can you do? The standard is going to use you for target practice to level up and do even more shots to the sentry. The sentry doing a good job of spinning. Yeah. Um, you can see how much faster uh, the damage was able to be dealt by Nagoya to the hero versus the sentry. Obviously, the sentry Absolutely. has more health, but even the fire rate that they're applying there. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, the standard's already leveled up all the way to level 10. It's a max level standard. Like, what does this hero do even? Like, you yeah. can't really keep yourself alive. This is a tough look for queens. I just don't know what your play is here. You can't move to the other side. You can't start, you know, taking out their base health by any means. You're getting, you're still getting harassed by Nagoya's standard. There's just not a lot you can do in this situation. It's very unfortunate. Yep, and while you're in combat, the healing of that regen zone does decrease. Yeah. Uh, so red standard three, able to get the double kill, moving on to the base here. You're just gonna see how many projectiles. It's like that old commercial. Keep it going. How many 17 millimeters does it take to get to the center of the blue base? The world may never know. Well, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. It takes about 300. 300 to shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Their accuracy looks pretty good, so I'm going to say maybe maybe 350. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. Got so well, Now we can check. So they've got 740 health left. Yeah. Right? Uh, let's see how many projectiles they're able to purchase. They grabbed 200, 200 projectiles. Uh, they're doing five damage per projectile. They are. So should be doable in this case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in this last round, uh, Nagoya should just melt the base out through all the uh, the, the whole of his health bar left. Um, and yeah, there's not really much else to say. Queen's Good job, baby. Nagoya. Good Queen's coming to the block a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, there okay. we go. Queen's we hero go. gonna mess up our math, make it a little bit more difficult to calculate the I accuracy. I think they still make it. They got 60 projectiles. They should be able to make this in. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they'll still finish off the base. And there we go. Excellent job. Amazing job from Nagoya. Basically just one robot on one robot. A tragedy for Queens. I'm not sure what happened there with their standard. I don't know if, uh, honestly, they just forgot to connect it. There wasn't a disconnection error. Yeah. It seems like they never attached it to the network. Yeah, absolutely. Um, rather than having it disconnect from the network mm -hmm. after the round started. So yeah. tragedy for uh, Queens. And you know what, Nagoya, now they have time to fix the head of their robot. Yeah. No harm, no foul, no right? Kind no of foul. that U-dub. UW result where you pop the head off your hero. Is this the winning strat? It's 2-0. and oh. Anecdotally, break the head off your hero, win the game. Possibly, possibly. We need to convince CU to give that a try. Uh, I'd be interested to see CU do it. I'd be interested to see, you know, let's see Tammy do it. Do that hero as well. wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.